Welcome. This video is on numbers, numbers that are big and numbers that are small, and something called scientific notation. Chemistry is filled with numbers. Let's take a look at this picture. This is a piece of carbon. Let's say this piece of carbon weighs 12 grams. If it does, this is how many atoms are present in that 12 gram sample. Wow, that's a big number. That's a lot of atoms. Here is a stylized picture of an atom, and this would be very, very small. If we measured the diameter in meters, this is what the diameter would be. Now that's a small number. Those numbers are hard to write because they have so many zeros. So we use something called scientific notation to help us get rid of some of those zeros. Scientific notation is a way to write a number that is a little bit easier and shorter than putting all those zeros in. So let's take a look at the numbers that are in scientific notation. 7.3 times 10 to the fifth, that's scientific notation. 8 times 10 to the negative third, 4.211 times 10 to the eighth, and 6.00 times 10 to the negative fifth. Those are all numbers that are written in scientific notation. You may see that there are two parts to the numbers. There's a decimal part at the beginning, which is always a number between 1 and 10. So 7.384.211 and 6.00 are all numbers between 1 and 10. And note that the decimal appears after one non-zero number that's in front. The second part of the number is also always 10 excuse me, times 10 to the sum exponent. Here's 10 to the fifth, 10 to the negative third, 10 to the eighth, and 10 to the negative five. So how do I change a number with lots of zeros to something in scientific notation? Well, there's a few steps that we follow. One, we are going to move the decimal to after the first non-zero number, so that the number is going to be somewhere between 1 and 10. And that number before, you might have realized, didn't have a decimal, but it really does, and the decimal is right here at the end. So now I need to move that so I have a number that's between 1 and 10 to start with. So if I move the decimal, I'm also going to count how many places I have to move it to get the decimal right here between the 3 and the 5. And I have these little ziggly lines so we can count together. I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, five places. So that number then becomes 3.56, but we have to account for those five places that I moved the decimal. And so it becomes 3.56 times 10 to the fifth meters. If you move the decimal to the left, like we did in this example, and we made this big number look smaller, the exponent is positive. So this 5 is a positive 5. In other words, you need to multiply 3.56 by 5 tens to get the number 356000. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and see if you can change 5,800 grams into scientific notation. I'll wait for you. Did you get it right? 5,800 grams equals 5.8. We're going to change the decimal to right here between the 5 and the 8 and count how many places we moved it. 1, 2, 3. So that's 5.8 times 10 to the third grams. But what about the very small numbers? We're going to do the same procedure, except I'll show you in a second. Um, we're going to change 0 0.003111 liters to scientific notation. And to do that, we're going to do the same steps. We're going to move the decimal to after the first non-zero number. So the number is going to be between 1 and 10. So I'm going to put the decimal here between the 3 and the 1. And then I'm going to count the number of places we had to move it. So here's my little ziggly line. I had to move it one, two, three places. 
So the number then becomes 3.111 times 10 to the, I had to move it three places, but it's not 10 to the third this time, it's 10 to the negative third. So if you have to move the decimal to the right and make the small number look bigger, the exponent is negative. In other words, you have to divide the number 3.111 by three tens, 10, 10, and then 10, to get the number 0 0.003111. Negative exponents is the same as dividing by 10. So if it's 10 to the negative third, you have to divide it by 10 three times. So now it's your turn. Try to convert to scientific notation the number listed below. Pause the video and see if you get it right. Did you get it right? This number becomes 5.2, so we move the decimal between the 5 and the 2, and we count the number of places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We had to move it 7 places, but we had to move it to the right, so it's 10 to the negative 7th. And this is going to be a small number, and it is a very small number. What happens if we want to go the other way? What happens if we have a number that is in scientific notation and we want to change it to standard notation? Basically, we do the reverse of what we just did. We're going to move the decimal, the number of places that are in the exponent. If the exponent is positive, we're going to move the decimal to the right to make the number look bigger. If the exponent is negative, we're going to move the decimal to the left to make the number look smaller. And then, of course, we have to add back all those zeros. So let's change the following numbers into standard notation. So 10 to the seventh means we have to move the decimal places seven places to the right. 10 to the third, it's positive three, means we have to move it three places to the right. 10 to the negative second means we have to move it two places to the left. And 10 to the negative fifth we meet, means we have to move the decimal five places to the left. So let's do that. Seven places, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and move the decimal out here. But what happens to all this space now? We have to put a zero in each one of these spots. So I have to put in one, two, three, four, five zeros. What about moving it three places for the next number? I move it one, two, three. So I'm gonna to have to add a zero here. This time I'm gonna to go to the left. I have to move it two places, one, two. So I'm gonna add one zero here. And now I have to go five to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And that means I have to add one, two, three, four zeros. So what does that look like? There we have it, 366-0000. I added five zeros to this, and this becomes the number. I had to add one zero to this. This is the number. I had to add one zero to this. Now, notice I added this extra zero in front of the decimal, which is not necessary, but I like to do that. So I just added this zero and then the decimal, but I sometimes put the zero in front also. And here we had to move it five to the left, which gives me four extra zeros in front, and this is my number. Now let's see if you can do it. Change the following numbers into standard form. Pause the video and then check to see if you got it right. There's the answers. Hope you get it, got them right. And thanks for listening.